Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking with Tammy Live. I'm Tammy and today I'm gonna to show you how to make the ultimate game day appetizer, guys. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make delicious mini buffalo chicken meatballs. Just when you thought there was nothing that you could possibly do with brown chicken, well, today I'm gonna to show you how to put together the ultimate game day appetizer. So without further ado, guys, let's introduce these ingredients and get started. We have some ground chicken, as you can see, as well as some salt, ground black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, eggs, and breadcrumbs, as well as butter, Parmesan cheese, uh, dried parsley, buffalo sauce, we got some milk on hand, we got some ranch powder, and we got some mayo. Yes, guys. So, let me start by putting these gloves on and gloving up. What have you guys been up to? Yes, game season is in full effect, and trust me, guys, these buffalo mini meatballs, guys, they're gonna be so delicious and savory and quick and easy to put together. So once you're done, you can put it, you know, once you're done, you can plate it and get to watching the game. It's not gonna take a long time, believe me, but the flavors are gonna be so perfect. Yes. Alrighty. To this bowl, guys, I am gonna add my ground chicken. Add it all in there. And I'm also going to add a pinch of salt, not too much, as well as a pinch of ground black pepper and garlic powder. I'm gonna add all, the, all of the garlic powder as well as all of the onion powder. Add my breadcrumbs because we're gonna mix everything together. Parmesan cheese, add it all up in there. And of course, the egg. And the egg is gonna tie everything together and help it to mold really nicely. I'm also going to add some dried parsley. And we are gonna get to mix it. Yes. For this, we are gonna use our hands. Don't be afraid. <laughs> I know some of us, we prefer a little, uh, a little less or should I say, I know some of us, we prefer um, turkey over beef or even chicken, but sometimes it's like, you know, you look at it and you're like, what am I gonna do with the chicken? What am I gonna do with um, ground chicken? What am I gonna do with ground turkey? Is it gonna be moist? Is it gonna be, there's so many misconceptions, but if you follow this recipe, everything is gonna turn out perfectly fine. It's not gonna be dry, it's not gonna be tough, it's just gonna be perfectly fine. All right, everything is combined. We're not gonna overmix anything. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pinch off a little piece, just like that. We're gonna make uh, like one inch balls, or should I say like one and a quarter inch balls, guys. But before I get to rolling and molding and stuff, we are gonna add a little bit of nonstick cooking spray to our little mini cupcake pan, just like that. Mm -hmm. Because even though it's non-stick, as you guys all know, I like to make sure that nothing gets stuck in the pan. There's nothing wrong with a surety, right? Alrighty, so either you can use like a tablespoon and just scoop it and just drop it in there, or you can just mold it with your hands, just like what I'm doing, and just plunk it in there, just like that. Alright, so... Just curious, guys, how many of you are sports fanatics? And what's your favorite team? If you happen to be a sports fanatic, what's your favorite team? And who do you anticipate is gonna make it to the playoffs, guys? <laughs> right in there. This pan right here holds 24. Yeah, it's 24. So I'm gonna see if I'm gonna be able to get 24 balls up in here, or maybe 18, who knows, right? We'll see. <laughs> just roll it just like that, drop it on in there. Let me put some back. Quick and easy. Honestly, the preparation, let me see, the preparation was about five minutes just to grab the ingredients and measurements and everything. It was literally about five minutes. It didn't take any time to put together. And as you can see, it was just more like a dump and go, add all the ingredients, pretty much almost all the ingredients. 
And that was it, right? Mix it around a little bit, twist it here, twist it there, and then bam, into the pan, and boom, into the preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and you're done. That's it. We're gonna allow these meatballs to bake for about, mm, I would say between 12 and 15 minutes at 350 Fahrenheit, that is, not Celsius. And yeah, nothing to it, guys. Really easy. By the way, if you don't have a mini cupcake pan, feel free to use a regular baking sheet lined with parchment paper or aluminum foil and just hit it off with a little uh, nonstick cooking spray and then you add your meatballs simultaneously in line and that's it. <laughs> And that is it. And you will be good to go. I can't wait to taste these meatballs, guys, because remember, it has the Parmesan cheese in here as well. As a matter of fact, the cheese that I use is a mix of Parmesan and Romano cheese. Mm, it's gonna be tasty. <laughs> it's gonna be absolutely tasty. Not to mention by the time we put the sauce together and everything else, gonna be off the chain. What the hook? <laughs> last minute hosting party? Or last, you get that last minute notification. Everybody wants to come over to your house to watch the game. Grab yourself some ground chicken and get a couple ingredients and boom, 30 minutes guys. You have the perfect game day appetizer. It's that simple, guys. And trust me, the person or people who's eating it, they're gonna think that you spent like a lot of time putting it together. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's all about quick, easy, and delicious. Alrighty, right up in there. And I'm gonna make this a little bigger. I actually have extra left over, yay! <laughs> Just when I thought, honestly, I wasn't gonna make 24 mini balls, or should I say mini meatballs, I actually have just the right amount. Yay, my estimation was on point. <laughs> Alrighty. He's a little oversized, but that's all right. <laughs> anyway, guys, as I mentioned, I'm gonna place this into my preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna allow them to bake for about 12 to 15 minutes. I'm gonna check on them uh, in about 10, 10 or 12 minutes, just to see where we are. And if it's done at, <laughs> and if it's done at 12 minutes, I'm gonna pull it on out and we're gonna take it from there. All right, so anyway guys, continue watching and I will be right back. Now that our mini meatballs are in the oven, we are gonna work on making our buffalo sauce. And of course, this sauce, guys, is absolutely simplistic, very simple. We are gonna add to this pan, guys, some butter. Mm -hmm. And we are also going to add our favorite brand of barbecue sauce. And we are gonna combine both ingredients. So not only is this sauce gonna be nice and spicy, but it's gonna be nice and buttery as well. And we are just gonna combine the butter, the two, I put up two fingers, I'm like, we're gonna combine the butter, and I'm holding up two fingers, right? We're gonna combine the butter and the sauce, or should I say both ingredients? <laughs> I gotta be relevant, I'm standing here with two fingers, right? Like literally. <laughs> <laughs> and once everything is combined and we have like a nice simmer and the sauce thickens just a bit, not much, we are done. All we're doing pretty much is just like I said, combining both the, uh, the sauce with the butter and we're just pretty much he heating it up. And that's basically it. And that's it, guys. Mm-hmm. And voila, we're done. <laughs> I 
as you can see, the bubble action taking place, we're done. We're gonna turn the stove top off. And we are going to place this sauce into this bowl right here. And we are gonna set it to the side until our meatballs are out of the oven. Mm -hmm. That is it. We are done. All right, stay still. Moving right along, guys, we are gonna make our ranch sauce from scratch. Yes, we are. So, to this bowl, I have some milk. And of course, according to whatever your dipping sauce is gonna be, whether if it's gonna be blue cheese or if it's gonna be ranch sauce, just follow the instructions as directed on the back of the label, or you can always feel free to pick up bottled um, ranch sauce or blue cheese, it's totally up to you. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I am going to add this uh, ranch mix mixture to this milk, and I am gonna combine it really well, get it well incorporated, get it really, inco get it really incorporated, guys. Almost like we're making jello pudding, right? <laughs> it reminds me of it with the milk and the uh, the pudding thing, uh, or should I say the instant jello pudding and the con the constant whisking, hoping that it gets thickened. Nah, <laughs> this is not gonna get thick though. However, once we add the mayo to it, that's when it's gonna thicken up. Alrighty, we got the correct utensil at this point. Get that mayo up in there. And we are going to whisk it slowly until everything is well incorporated and well combined. And once we're done, we're gonna place this into the fridge and allow it to set and allow the flavors to become even more amazing. <laughs> And definitely, when it comes to making your uh, ranch sauce from scratch, you can always do it like the night before. The reason why I didn't do it the night before is because I wanted to show you guys exactly, you know, pretty much how to do it. And yeah, but in your case, you can do it the night before, put it in the refrigerator, so that way everything will be nice and flavorful. Not saying that it's not gonna be flavorful now, guys. It's gonna be flavorful, but if you wanna get the full effect, refrigerate it at least 12 hours to overnight. And there goes the thickness. <laughs> Just like Jello pudding, honestly. Make sure there's no lumps and bumps. Make sure everything is nice and smooth and consistency. And we are done. I am gonna place this into the refrigerator. I'm gonna check on those meatballs and see what's good with them. And then we'll be right back. Alrighty guys, so we are back. And as you can see, our mini meatballs are fresh out of the oven. They are piping hot. And I know you're probably saying, wait a minute, Tammy, what's going on? Why is this missing? And to be honest with you, I had to taste it. Not just because I wanted to, but more so <laughs> because I had to make sure that it was cooked all the way through. Right? Yeah, right. Anyway, everything was absolutely delicious, trust me. So what we're gonna do is, right now, we are going to stage everything and make it look really nice and game day savvy. As you can see, I have my assembly line set up right here. I have my warm buffalo sauce and my cold ranch sauce right here, as well as my little plate. And what we're gonna do is, guys, we are gonna take these mini meatballs. You could just take it out because non-stick, of course, and as you know, we added that non-stick cooking spray for reassurance, so we're good to go. We're gonna roll it around in the sauce, add as many as you can, and we're gonna roll it around in the sauce. And what we're gonna do is, we are gonna place it right in our plate, just like that, right? Easy, right? Place it right there. Ah, get over there and stop it. <laughs> And just like that. Make sure it's well coated. Add some more. 
Place them close to each other, doesn't matter. Chicken mini meatballs are gonna be everything for game day. Definitely. You can place that, I guess, like right here, up in the front. Front and center. All right, that's good. Looking good so far, right? You're looking good. And we're gonna take that ranch, right? No perfect order. <laughs> Just let it drizzle onto the meatballs. Or should I say the buffalo chicken meatballs? Just like that. Make it look real pretty. And of course, you don't have to worry about coating every meatball with ranch sauce or blue cheese or whatever. What you can actually do is, because you never know, some people might prefer something a little different. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have different dipping sauces lined up so that way they could just grab whatever dipping sauce they prefer. Whether it be uh, blue cheese, ranch sauce, uh, honey mustard, ketchup, whatever, or even extra buffalo sauce. That way it makes it much easier. All right, I think this looks absolutely amazing. Alrighty guys, so what we're gonna do now, now that everything is coated nicely, we're gonna add a little dried parsley. Give it the full staging effect. Make it look absolutely beautiful. And, and guys, voila, we're done. We're finished. We are absolutely finished. Had to get you guys up close and in person with these little beautiful buffalo chicken mini meatballs, guys. Absolutely delicious, so flavorful, so savory, and, but yet just like, just the perfect amount of spice. Mm, absolutely delicious, perfect game day appetizer. So, of course, as we all know, it's all about the presentation, so I grab these little mini forks. <laughs> absolutely gorgeous, right guys? And of course, we are gonna taste our de delicious buffalo mini meatballs. And I'm gonna go for this one right here. This little fork, they're so cute, oh my God. And I'm gonna hit it off with a little bit more ranch. Mm-hmm, just like that. And I'm gonna go for it. Mmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. These little mini buffalo chicken meatballs are absolutely delicious. I could taste the Parmesan cheese that we had put in there earlier within the mixture, and it gives it that mild taste, but yet you taste the buffalo sauce, which is spicy, and then you get that taste from the ranch that cools it down. Everything just ties together really nicely. Mmm, I like these, oh my God. This is delicious. I honestly must say these buffalo chicken meatballs with ranch sauce are absolutely delicious. I think I'll go for another one. <laughs> so savory, but yet so delicious. It puts the spin on um, buffalo wings. Mm. Mm hmm. Anyway guys, thank you as always for tuning in to Cooking with Tammy Live. I'm Tammy and it's been fun. Enjoy the game guys, definitely give this recipe a try. It's definitely a crowd pleaser and it's so quick and easy to put together. And the taste is absolutely delicious. So with all of that being said guys, I catch you in another video. Bye guys.